I should probably finish this before I repot. It's Bailey's, by the way. It's also two in the afternoon. Oh, that'll put hairs on your chest. Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome to yet another Repop with me. I hope nobody's getting sick of these videos, right? It's just, it's the easiest thing for me to do. I genuinely do have repotting to do, you know what I mean? But I, I realize it's, it's very repetitive, but I can't do much else for you at the minute. <laughs> so we're just gonna have to stick with these. I'll cut to the chase. I might have a little bit of a rant in this video, mainly because you guys kind of asked for it on Instagram and I may or may not swear. So if you're not interested, just click off now. I don't wanna waste anybody's time. Also, yes, I've done my hair. Yes, I'm wearing reasonably expensive makeup on with my reasonably shitty clothes. And that is how I like it. It's so cute. It's a little lounge set, but I'll show you it because it's just, it's pointless. It's just a navy blue set. I don't know if I can walk back. Ooh, Denon. Walk back. Can you see it? Can you see? <laughs> It's very comfortable, but it's actually really hot under these lights. So, a while ago when I hauled these two plants here beside me, I asked you guys if you thought I should combine them because this here is a medium medium green form. This here is a medium medium blue form. So I thought in the spirit of saving space, why don't I just combine these together and put them in the same pot and they can grow together and just share their lives together, why not? So that is what I'm doing today. I have no surprises guys. But I have another one of these. Can you tell I kind of like them? Yes, I will review these. I will, honestly, I will. And you'll probably know what my review is gonna be when I do review them. But these are the La Chouza. I don't know how you say this, honestly. Can somebody tell me how to say this in the comments so that when I do do a review video, I can kind of pronounce it properly? I think it's La Chouza. La Chouza, La Chouza, La Chouza. I don't know. Just write it phonetically in the comments so I can actually learn how to pronounce these because we're gonna be seeing a lot more of these and I should probably pronounce them. So anyway, I've got one of these pots. Obviously it's not assembled, so I'm really sorry. We will be assembling it all over again. And I have these two plants to combine. I also found the following on uh, Amazon and I'm really, really happy I did because I found little cute little moss poles because basically I've thought about this and I don't know how tall I want this plant to get. What I'd rather do is, you know, let this kind of grow and when it gets to a point, I'll probably like chop it, propagate it, put it back in and get it bushy first before I let it grow up. So I'm thinking about doing that. So I'm going to use this, even though it's considerably shorter than these two on either side of me. I hope you can see them in the frame. Can you? Yeah. It's considerably shorter, but it's deliberate and I really want to see what it looks like. I think it's just going to look cuter. So we're going to try that. So I'm going to kind of construct my pot first and then we're just going to plant them up. So... Hopefully I won't need scissors because I totally, totally have not put the scissors down. Where did I put the scissors before? I think they're on the bench. Never mind. Just pray for me. Pray that I don't need them. All right, I'll take all this shit off. Bit loud. You may have seen me use these pots a million times before, but these are self-watering pots. That's kind of why they're cool. I don't know. Can you get either on the frame? Yes. This one here, you can see them. They're, they're pots. They can, you can put liquor or substrate in them, whatever you want to do and they have a watering gauge so you can kind of flip this little bit of plastic up there's a hole here where you can put water in and that's it they water themselves you water them whenever they need watering it's great needless to say i know how to water my plants i, th I don't think that's kind of up for discussion <laughs> because i have so many plants it's more when i go backwards and forwards to my shop i just need to make sure these things are all right i've got some really high value plants and it's getting to the point where it it, it affects me if I have to think about watering them. So I'm just making sure that if I go away, if I go away to Thailand, if I go to the shop for a few days, whatever I'm doing, as long as I can keep these guys watered, my mind is at rest because I don't have time to think about anything else because I work seven days a week and I do not have time to worry about shit like that. So, so yes, self-watering pots, that's how they work. They come with a little plinth in the bottom and you basically build your little self-watering kind of, it, it looks like this actually. It's like a self-watering little nozzle with a little flotation -y bit in the bottom. Yada, 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 you can tell when it needs water. This is kind of like their version of lecker that you place in the bottom of the pot before your substrate or before your own lecker. I'll not put that in yet. I will just erect the, uh, the flotation thingy. I don't know what you call it. So. I had a bit of a shitty day yesterday. And it was shitty for two reasons, but I'm mainly just gonna touch on one of them. So this is gonna seem like just not a problem, but it irritated me, right? And it's irritated me for some time, okay? Sorry, I'm gonna have to use my teeth because 
I don't have scissors here. So as you may or may not know, as it happens, I've got them in front of me. For my shop, if you've ever bought from my shop, you'll know that when you get your order, it, depending on how it's packaged, this isn't always the case, but most of the time, at minimum, my boxes come packaged and there is some black, you know, tissue paper sealing the box. And this sticker here acts as kind of the seal, right? This is my shop logo. I buy them on reams of stickers like this. I think I tend to order 500 to 1,000 at a time. I use a certain company to do this. They're printed in a certain way. You upload your design. They okay. They're like, yeah, it's printed. How many do you want? What do you want the finish to be like? Do you want gloss? Do you want matte? Blah, 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 blah. I went through all of this, obviously, when I launched my shop. So this is, this is just going to bore the shit out of everyone. I'm really sorry, but this fucking irritated me. These are printed on essentially not matte paper, but not, not gloss. And they're just, it's on black. It's an emblem. It's on black. It's super simple. That's it. It's a sticker. So I ordered these when I launched my shop uh, last year, which I think was, was it June sometime? I don't even know how long I've been running. I think about a year. And I've been using these ever since. So the way this website works is you, you know, you place your order and they kind of have this thing where the person that deals with your order, they can deal with your order again and they can just kind of reorder for you. So when I was starting to go through these stickers, I would speak to this person. Let's just call her Katie. And I would speak to Katie and every so often she would email and be like, yo, do you want to reorder? And I'm like, yeah, because that's great for me, right? Because I don't have to go on this site, do my design again or click reorder and go through all the fucking bullshit scenario that I've got to go through and get it reordered. So all that happens is she would email me, do you want a new order? And I'm like, yeah, send it. Why not? So that's what had been happening. So the first time I did this on my own, I think this is from the original roll I bought actually. The first time I ordered from them, I... Uh, I ordered completely by myself. Twice since then, I've had repeat, you know, reels of stickers. The first time the reorder went in was, I actually don't know when it was. It might have been just later last year, say. Um, Katie emailed me. She was like, yo, you want to do another order? I'm like, yeah, hell yeah, do it. Let's do it. Anything you need from me? No, no, no. I'll just reorder. Not a problem. I'll handle it all for you. It'll come out of your account. No problems. Done. And I'm like, yes, boy, I'll take that. So, that is what happened. Stickers arrived. Everything was fine. The next time I needed to reorder was, I think it was at some point in February. It could have been, I don't know if it was mid-February, but it was early February. I needed more stickers for my shop because sometimes they go on the seal on the box. Sometimes they go on plant pots. Sometimes if I'm sending things out bare root in, you know, moss, I'll put a sticker on that little bag of moss. It really just depends. It honestly does. I ordered them as usual through the same method, through email in February at some point. I, I could find the day, but I'd have to go and look it up. And we ain't here for that. No one cares. So I ordered them and they came to me, I don't know, maybe a week later or something like that. I didn't open them because I hadn't quite gone through my current stickers yet. I do like to order in advance, obviously. So I'd ordered them and I hadn't quite run out of the current lot of stickers. It was maybe two to three weeks later by the time I got to opening them, in all honesty. And when I opened them, I noticed that they were wrong. And if you've had, fun fact, if you've had plans from my shop since probably February, probably in the last couple of launches, you may have noticed when the sticker comes on the box, it's not the same as this. It's practically the same as this, don't get me wrong, but it actually has like a white trim on the sticker. And I know what you're thinking, Kaylee, who gives a shit? The answer is Kaylee gives a shit because I, it's my branding, right? It's how I picked it. It's, it's how I want my boxes to look when they go out. They have to look a certain way. That is how it is. They have this white trim on. Obviously I've had to use them and I'll get to that in a minute, trust me. I've had to use them, but basically I immediately emailed back. I was like, oh, I'm really sorry to inform you, but on opening, you know, the current order, the current shipment, I've noticed that it's wrong. And the, the sticker appears to have been printed on white, you know, paper as opposed to black paper. And I got nothing back from them, which I thought was very unusual because every time I've emailed her previously, you know, she would email right back. Cause sometimes she'll say like, how's, how's your order? Did it get there? Is it fine? Great customer service, can't, can't knock them. Um, and I was like, okay, that's a bit odd. Do you know what I mean? And I thought, right, okay, probably busy, it's fine. I'll wait a week, I had other shit to do anyway. Uh, I still had some stickers left from the old batch, so I was okay. I thought I'll just wait a few more days, no contact. So I emailed again, you know. Hi, I don't know if you got my last email, there's a problem with this order, please, you know, let me know how we, it's best to go forward with this. Obviously I'd like a replacement, blah, blah, blah. And I got nothing back again. And I thought, shit, that's odd. She, she never normally doesn't reply. I waited and this went on into March, 
early April very easily and I was still emailing it. and it got to the point where I just said look I'm getting pretty irritated that you're ignoring me you're not emailing me back you know I've had no response whatsoever and again no reply and it got to the point I thought okay definitely 100% she doesn't work for the company anymore right this it's, it's not going through that's that's all it is she doesn't work there something's happened there's no way though that all my emails haven't gone through unless she just doesn't work there or she's on a really long holiday, like a two to three month holiday. Easy, okay, that's fine, that's absolutely fine. I emailed customer service therefore and said, yo, I've got this problem, you know, the order was wrong, I'd like a replacement, I've emailed such and such and they're not now replying to me and could, could anyone help? Nothing back, nothing back. So I left it for a while and I had, it got to the point where I had to start, two seconds, uh, oh my God, why did I do it this way around? probably because I'm concentrating. So it got to the point where I had to just use the other stickers with the white trim and that's why some of you have had sticker with a white trim. Oh I know this is first world problem so honestly just don't bother giving me shit in the comments. Obviously this is a first world problem. I get it right. I'm not saying it is but y'all wanted to hear my rant so here it is. So I contacted yesterday afternoon, I thought, fuck this, I've had enough, I will not be ignored any longer, I'm a customer, you fucked up the order, I just want a replacement order, that's all I want. So I was very patient and I contacted the customer service via the chat on the website. Now prior to this, I thought I'd check my account really quickly to see my previous orders and the website didn't let me view them. I could see that I had three orders on there and none of them were viewable. So I thought, okay, well shit, I'm just gonna have to talk to someone anyway because I can't even see if the order went through wrong. Like was the order wrong or did it just get manufactured wrong? I, I really couldn't tell. There was literally no way of telling. So I thought, right, I'll contact customer service. I contacted them, briefly explained the issue. I said, I've been dealing with this person. They've been ordering on my behalf. They, I think they were like the accounts manager. So they, I don't know if they were like further up than other people. I don't know. And I said, look, this person's been dealing with it. They just haven't, either haven't received my emails or haven't responded to my emails. I'm a little bit upset. It's been really tough to get hold of you guys. I just want to replace my shipment of my labels, please. And the person that I spoke to, I think they called her Charlotte. That's probably not her name, but that's what her name was on the chat. I spoke to her and she was like, okay, let me just try and get to the bottom of this for you. And she was like, I'm going to go and speak to Katie, the person. So I'm guessing they're all in one big office. I, I don't, I don't really know. But obviously this person was in the office. So she comes back a little while later and she says, yo, um, you were emailed back about this. And I was like, no, seriously, no, I wasn't. I've been emailing. I have been emailing. So if I've been emailed back and I haven't got it, what's going on? Because it's always been the same. Like nothing has changed. You know what I'm saying? Their email hasn't changed. My email hasn't changed. Whatever have you. They're like, no, no, you were emailed back about this. I was like, okay, what was I emailed back? And she said to me, you were emailed back and you were told that you would have to reorder the shipment because it's out of your 14 day period for you to be dissatisfied with the product kind of thing. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. Do not get me wrong. I totally understand that. I operate my own business. We have a returns policy, just like other businesses do. I get it. If you're out of your return period, that's an issue, right? Totally get it. Two seconds. But what I don't get is why I would have to reorder that when they fucked it up, right? So I was like, no, no, no. I think you misunderstand me. You, you fucked it up. <laughs> I didn't obviously say that in chat. I was very professional and very patient because I, I, I deal with customers, so I, I would never be you know, just unpleasant to people. So I was very, very calm. I was like, look, whether there was an email or not, I haven't got any emails. There's a lot wrong with what you're saying. And she was like, no, no, I will, you know, she's gonna send me the email she sent to you. I was like, okay, great. I'll, I'll happily wait for that because I don't think there was an email sent back. I just think I got ignored because she fucked up the order is what I think. But anyway, so I never, long story very short there, I never got that email. That was never mentioned again. But I was basically saying, look, I am not going to do a repeat order from you for any reason when you fucked up my order and you ignored me for like three months. You ignored all contact through customer service and through that email. Granted that I could have rang, I haven't had time, whatever, I've been in different countries. I was like, there's no way I'm gonna reorder it. And she was like, no, no, but you have to because it's outside the 14 day period. And I said, look, I accept it's outside the 14 day period. I didn't open the shipment because I bought it in advance. I wasn't quite ready to order, but I knew I would go through the labels, so I bought it. I didn't get around to opening it. Whether that's my fault, that's fine. But what I'm saying is, you still fucked it. And it's obvious you fucked it because it was a repeat order. I didn't give you any new information. There was no new parameters given. There was no new designs given to proof. That was a reorder. 
It took some time. She came back to me and she was like, oh, well, I mean, we can offer you a 50% discount as a gesture of goodwill. What? I don't fucking think so. A gesture of goodwill when you fucked my shit. You fucked my shit. You fucked my order. But you're willing to do something nice for me in making me pay for it again. You're just gonna make me pay a little bit less. What are you smoking? No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that at all. No, thank you. No, thank you. I was like, look, why would I pay for the order when I did not fuck it up? I was not at fault. If I was at fault, and I said this, I wouldn't even be contacting you guys if it was me. I would just be like, shit, I fucked up. You know, I picked the wrong material to print on. I'll just order again. I would never do that. I'm not that kind of person. Do you know what I'm saying? So she gets back to me a little while. She can obviously say, you know, this shit ain't gonna fly with me. I was like, no, you fucked up. You fucked up. So she came back to me and she was like, look, I need you to understand why this has happened because it's totally gonna happen again. And I was like, fucking fire away. What, what, what? And basically she said, look, you know, on this print, you didn't leave the required amount of, you know, bleed for your design. And I suspect what she means is as follows. This design here, the, the black bit, the, to be honest, isn't even printed perfectly, but whatever, it's just a sticker on a box. The black trim around here, I think is where the bleed is, right? But clearly there is enough room on the original design, which is right here in my hand, by the way, where the bleed is. But she was like, no, no, see, you didn't leave the right amount of bleed, which meant that there had to be a white trim on it because it, it wasn't the right size for the design and she just gave me a lot of spiel back and I was like, listen, if there was something wrong with that design, I was never contacted about it. I was never told. I was never given a proof to review of that design, okay? Furthermore, I said, can you fucking explain to me why if this is the case, why Katie, the lady in question, managed to get my order right twice prior? See what I'm saying? Because the customer service representative didn't see what I was saying. She was like, no, but this, this is what happens. This is why it's happened. It's like, well, it's not though. And I said, right, if that's the case, explain to me why you guys got it right the first two times. Two times you got it right. What you're saying isn't adding up and I'm not trying to be a difficult customer. I'm just saying, look, what you're saying isn't fucking adding up. She was like, but you will have been sent something to approve, blah, blah, blah. When you went and you made your order on the website, you've been sent something to approve. And it's like, no, 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 no. Because we've just established, because you've just spoken to this woman that has been making the orders for me via email, that I didn't go to the website to order it because I went through the woman via email, which is by the fact, not like an un a, a new and unusual thing that you guys do, because I did happen to notice on the banner on their website, they advertise the fact that, you know, we have advisors that can make orders on your behalf. And she just wasn't getting it. She just wasn't fucking getting it. She was like, I'm so sorry, we'll give you 50% off. And it's like, I don't think you fucking understand. You fucked my order. I just, literally, I'm still willing to continue my custom with you if you just replace the fucking order that you fucked me on. That's all I want from you. I'm still willing to continue business. She's like, well, no, you can get 50% off as a gesture of goodwill because, you know, you didn't tell us within 14 days basically, that they fucked up. And I had to very politely say, look, no disrespect, and I'm not trying to be rude, but if you don't give me a full replacement for my order, I'm just going to take my business elsewhere. There are so many other label companies in the UK alone. You ain't that special. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, they do the same thing as so many other companies. It's just on that day, at that time, I happen to find them. I might be able to find it cheaper. I don't even know. I literally don't even know. If, if you're not even willing to replace your mistake, I don't really want to be anywhere near you. Do you know what I'm saying? That's like, right? It's just to draw a parallel here. That's like somebody buys a hybrid here from me or whatever. Or they buy a Philadelphia Glorious from me. So they buy, so right, say they buy this one, right? Philadelphia and Glorious. And I accidentally just fucking send them this one, which is not the same fucking plant. And they just, I don't know, they don't realize. Maybe they, they just, they, they got it. Maybe someone else unboxed it from, maybe they were away. And for whatever reason, it's slightly outside the 14 day period that I insure all my plants from. If you don't know, I actually do that. I make sure that the plants stay healthy within 14 days. Technically, that means even if you fuck it, I pay for it, which isn't the most amazing thing in the world, but it's it's business. It's, it's just how you take care of your customers. You've got to do it. Anyway, I'm digressing. It's like me doing that. It's like me sending a customer the wrong plant, them complaining to me and me going, didn't get back to me quick enough. And it's like them going, well, can I have the plant that, that you were gonna send? Can I have the one I, I paid for? And it's like me saying, well, no, you'll have to pay for it again. Do you see what I'm saying? That's kind of bullshit. That's fucked. Like, what kind of company makes the customers pay for their mistakes? That is kind of beyond me. 
Eventually, anyway, after ages and her just like, it was obvious I was just not going to put up with her bullshit because every excuse she came back with, I could kind of shut them down by saying, yes, I accept what you're saying, except they got it right the first two times without my interference. They just could not admit that they fucked up. And I don't understand why, because I was being very understanding. All I was saying was, look, I'm upset that I've been ignored. I wasn't upset that you fucked up the order. That wasn't a problem. Shit like that happens all the time. It's just what happens. Do you know what I'm saying? I wasn't upset about that. I was upset with the way that I was treated at their mistake. Now, don't get me wrong. I understand sometimes things could get missed and you, you know, you don't get contacted or just things just slip through the net. Honestly, it's happened with my shop. It's happened before. Sometimes things just slip through the net. An email gets missed or it gets accidentally read at the wrong time by a different person and the other person doesn't get it. And it's just a nightmare. It can happen to anybody, literally anybody. That's not a problem. I get it, right? I get it. But I don't appreciate you making me try to pay for your fucking mistakes. That's outrageous. You pay for your mistakes. In my plant shop, and I was talking about this the other day online, I have to pay for other people's mistakes. If I send a plant out and say the courier just kicks the shit out of it or, you know, they just lose it, they chuck it into a river, I still have to pay to send my customer a new one because I, it is my job to make sure that shit gets there and it's correct. If it's not correct, if there's something wrong, it comes back and I send out another one. Or if it gets lost in the post, I just send out another one because it's not the customer's fault if the courier fucks it up. Do you know what I'm saying? Now, don't get me wrong, it's not my fault either, but when you enter this, this game, that's what you gotta do. It sucks, trust me, it fucking sucks. I've had boxes worth a lot of money go missing and you just gotta replace them. It's what you gotta do. There's nothing you can do about it. I would never ask a customer to essentially pay for anybody's mistake, but you know, it's, it's so stupid to me. It's so stupid to me. So long story short, they said, look, on this occasion, we'll replace the order for you. And I was like, do you mean free of charge or what? Because I had to clarify at this point, because you know, I don't even know what's going on in this conversation anymore. They're like, on this occasion we will, but in future, you're gonna need to be a lot more careful. And I'm just like, <sighs> well, I tell you what, can you just give me the, the equipment I need to print this shit? Because obviously I'm capable of doing a better job and admitting to my own fault where there is fault. This is just ridiculous. So I'm having to stab this and work out where that little hole is that there normally is in the pot. I think it's there. Is it there? Yeah, it's probably there. So anyway, that was happening at the same time as this, and this is juicy. The same time as this, I basically, and I'm gonna shorten this one down a lot because it ain't, you know, too extensive. I've had somebody, and I mentioned this on Instagram yesterday, come to our shop and claim to be a reasonably famous plant YouTuber wanting to review plants from the shop. And I thought, oh, okay. Well, I looked at their channel, I thought, okay, it's not really in line with the videos they normally do. Yes, they do kind of plant videos, but just not, it. you know, the red plant shop wouldn't really fit into it that well, but I thought, you never know, they might be branching out. Quarantine might have, you know, got them hard. They might be just doing new things. I thought, right, fine, fine, cool. And I took them, this is a lesson for me, guys. I took them on face value. And I was like, okay, well, you know, we can send you some plans. You can mention where you got them from and your opinions, you know, are your own. How about we send you maybe two or three plans and then you can unbox them or do whatever you want to do. We'll give you a list of plans and you can pick two or three that you'd like. This person was like, yeah, you know, you don't have all of your plans up on your website because we've just done a launch. Um, could you give me a list of what you've got? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. You know, I'm getting some plans in soon. Let me see how they go and I will email you back with a list and you can pick. So... I, I happen to notice because I, if, if you bought from my shop, this, this is no secret, you know this. I have a member of staff called Simon that deals with all emails going into the Red Plant shop. I don't deal with them. So if you think you're emailing me, you're not. But I know a lot of people have spoken to Simon anyway. So Simon replied to this initial email saying, you know, I'm this YouTuber, blah, blah, blah. Here's my channel. I would love to review some, some shit. Um, and he replied with a different name to the name coming in on the email. Um, and I, I had to ask him, I was like, why did you reply with this name when the person's name is this name? And he was like, oh, let me check on that for you. Let me find out why I've done that. And it was because the channel name had the name in. So he replied to the person with the name of the person whose YouTube channel that was linked. I was like, oh, well, shit, because that's not what the email is. And he was like, oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, shit. I didn't see that, which can happen, obviously. 
So I was like, okay, well, how do we know that this person is who they say they are? Because they could be literally anybody. And we both thought, oh shit, we should check that. And that is a schoolboy error on my part. So you can give me whatever criticism for that that you want because I totally deserve it. I took someone at face value. Never gonna do it again. Never gonna do it again. It's not like me to do that. I don't know why I did that. I got told about the email and obviously Simon responded for me, but I just, I didn't, I wasn't thinking. I guess I was just so busy doing other things. I just was not thinking. The last email I sent them was basically, um, you know, I'll, I'll let you know when plans come in. Would you like to pick some? Uh, I haven't had a reply yet, but long story short, I had my suspicions. I managed within, honestly, within about 20 minutes of finding this out, I managed to contact the actual YouTuber who this involved. And they have like quarter of a million subscribers. So I was genuinely very like amazed that I even got hold of them, but I did. And the person who I contacted, I basically just sent a message saying, hi, you may or may not know me. Didn't say who I was or anything to do with my channel. I just said, I just want to confirm if you have asked to review plans from our shop, and I put in brackets, the rare plant shop. Just want to confirm that that is the case and it is you. And immediately this YouTuber sent me back voice messages. I guess they were busy or whatever else. And they basically said, no, that is 100% not me. And you need to contact the police immediately because this keeps happening to me. This has happened before. This has happened a lot before and I don't know what to do anymore. I'm getting sick of it. This keeps happening and I can't stop it. I'm hearing about this all the time. And I was like, wow, okay, shit. Like, I'm sorry to bother you. I will deal with it the best I can. You know, have a nice day. Sorry to bother you. And then I took to Instagram yesterday to kind of express my sheer disappointment that people would even do this, to be honest. And I, I don't know how far this person thought they were gonna get. And I'm well aware that once I've posted about it, the person, if they follow me, I don't know, they'll now know that I know that they're an absolute fraud. But I tell you something, if it turns out that they reply to me and they're all, you know, normal with me, I'm going to continue on as normal. And I'm just gonna reply and I'm gonna be like, yeah, 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 pick them, you know. Can I have a name and address of where you want me to send these plants to? And I will take their address and I will send it to the appropriate authorities. I will give them their information. I'll explain what happened. I will, you know, contact the YouTuber involved in this and I will take it further. The only reason I haven't done that yet is because I guess I'm giving them a get out jail free card to back out now. So if you're watching this video and it's you, because I know your name because it was attached to the email, when you email somebody and you use an email address, if you fill in your real name in you know, the data that goes with that email address, it's gonna pop up, okay? I know who you are. So if you really want to get out of jail free here, I suggest you do not continue discussions with me or Simon or any part of my shop via email. Don't try and get plans from me because seriously, it's not gonna end well for you. So this is a genuinely, and I'm not trying to come across super threatening here, guys, I'm really not, but this is fraud. Seriously, it's fraud. There's no other way to, to go about it. It's serious, it's a criminal offense. So I'm giving you a get out of jail free, and that's only because I've already announced it on Instagram, so technically you could know already. But if this person doesn't know and has no idea who I am and just found the shop and wanted to get stuff from the shop, if they come back at me, I'm going to entertain it and I'm going to get their details and I'm going to just pass it on. So if it's you, here's a get out of jail free. Fuck off, quite kindly. Please don't do this to other shops, it's not nice. Likewise, I don't know how many people I'm speaking to here that this applies to because I don't know if, you know, people that have shops generally watch my content, but especially not this content right now. But if you are a shop, and you have that happen to you, please make sure that it is the person. And if you can't, just try and find your way to them. I might be able to help, I don't know. It really depends who they're saying that they are. Likewise, I'll just say right now, if someone tries to be me asking for plans to review, that's not gonna happen. Um, so if, if someone comes to you pretending to be me, that's, that's fake and that's no disrespect. I actually covered this on Instagram like three days ago. And that's basically another thing as well. People have asked me to review plant shops and stuff like that on my channel. And my response to that is, you know, I hear you, I get why you'd want me to, but it's conflict of interests and it's, it's not right for me to do that, guys. It's just not. And I said this on Instagram the other day and I put it, this is kind of dumb by the way. I kind of like skimmed over it really quickly. I'll probably not attach this yet because I don't think it needs it. Well, maybe it does. I don't have the stuff with me to attach it right now. So I'll attach it off camera. But anyway, what I was saying. So it's a conflict of interests for me because I'm in that industry, right? Because I own a plant shop. 
And it's not just, and this is not meant to disrespect any sellers that are operating this way. Honestly, it's really not, sorry, I probably touched my mic. It's really not, uh, it's, I'm, I'm not operating out of my bedroom. Do you know what I mean? I'm a proper limited company. I'm in this for the long haul. I want to do this right. I want to do it the best way possible. And being that I'm firmly within that industry, and I'm going to be, you know, shipping to America. So that'll be UK, EU, America, maybe even international. It'll be a big deal when it happens. I don't feel that I can rightly sit here and review another shop. And I'm just going to be fucking real about it because there's no reason not to be. And the reason for that is obviously, and I touched on this on Instagram. Sorry if this is very waffly. I'm really genuinely very sorry. I probably can't edit this very much, but... I can't review these shops because it's a conflict of interest. What I mean by that is, if a shop sends some shit and I unbox it and it's fucking great, I've done myself a disservice there because I'm unboxing competitors' plants and I'm now in the position where I have a camera pointing at me and I have to say that they're good because they probably have arrived good. Do you know what I'm saying? And credit where credit is due. But even though I can honestly give credit to somebody where it's due, I'm essentially advertising that shop when I give a good review, right? That's that's what it's for. That's the whole reason. Because if I give it a good review, it comes good, you'll buy from that shop, right? If they come and they're really bad, because a lot of you have asked me to review a, a couple of shops that are notorious for sending kind of stuff that comes pretty bad, like not great rep. If I review that and I speak negatively out of it, you can't really trust what I'm saying. And that's because I have a plant shop. It takes one person with, you know, the, not even a light bulb moment, just a little bit of common sense to sit there and go, well, you've got a fucking plant shop. You're just bashing on them because you've got a shop and they're your competition. It's it's low life. It's it's not it's not becoming. It's it's unfair. It's not right. And although I might not be doing that, the plants might have generally you know arrived a bit shit. It doesn't matter. It's still I'm I'm never going to be in that position where what I say can be taken genuinely by all watching, and that is basically it. It's why I can't review plant shops. It's, it, it might connect to other things. I doubt it. I think we're just talking about plants themselves because I can review pots. I can review, I don't know, moisture meters, hygrometers, humidifiers, all of that shit, terrariums, the whole works. I can do all of that, but plants are a bit of a different ball game. Do you see what I'm saying? And I mentioned this on Instagram and I'm going to say it again, and I don't really care who I annoy by saying this, to be honest. And it's not, it's not targeted at anybody, it's no shade, it's just a fact. If you are in uh, a position similar to me, if you're on YouTube or you're on Instagram, doing videos, whatever you are, if you're an influencer dealing with plants and stuff like that, and you have a plant shop, I personally, personal opinion, I'm kind of entitled to it, but my personal opinion is you should not be reviewing other shops. You shouldn't be doing that. I'm not saying you can't review the shops. I'm saying if you have a plant shop and you sell plants, you are no longer in a position where you're impartial to do that. And you can lead your audience in whatever way you kind of want to, to be honest. Now, I hope nobody takes this to be really malicious and mean. It's just my opinion. Like, I cannot review plants for that reason. It's just not going to be genuine. Do you know what I mean? I'm shitting on my own shop if I compliment another shop. And I'm potentially being disingenuous if I give a shop a bad review. Even though the plants, you might have seen me unbox them and they might have come really shit. It doesn't matter. It's just, it's not coming from the right position. I'm not the right person to do it. I'm sorry, that took way too long to say that shit. I realize that. Um, but that's kind of where I stand on it. So I can still review other shit. I mean it when I say tell me how to pronounce these things because I do want to review them. It's pretty obvious what my review is going to be. I think they're great. TLDR, <laughs> if you don't watch the review video, I think they're great. But yeah, that's kind of my opinion on that. That was also my little rant about my stickers, my labels. It might not be important to other people, but this is my brand. It's my business. It's my baby. It's how I'm appearing to customers that buy from me and continue to buy from me. It's very important to me. This might not seem like it's important to anybody, but trust me, that little white rim around that sticker that you know some of you guys will have got, has been pissing me off for some time. It's not only that, it's just the principle of, you know, customer service and just, just how to do it the right way. And I can't believe a big company like that wouldn't do that. You know what I mean? Whether I'm at fault for the 14 day thing, fine, but 
just just don't be a dick. You know what I mean? I keep saying this every week in some form, but just don't be a dick. Anyway, this is probably the longest, most ranty report ever. I'm sorry if any of this offends anybody, but I will speak as I find. And if that continues to piss people off, I am sorry, but that is how it is. I care more about being authentic than tiptoeing around people with opinions or stories or just anything. I, I apologize, but I also don't apologize is kind of what I'm getting at. Anyway, this was an unnecessarily long report. A uh, few words on this, because why not? That's why we're actually here. This is kind of cute. I don't know how long I'm gonna leave it at this height. I definitely think I wanna really get this bushy because obviously there's only two little plants. So if this gets too long, I'll cut it, I'll propagate it, I'll put it back in and I'll just do that for a while until I get a really cute little bush. Then I might replace the totem pole and then I might let it grow. But for now, I honestly think that's just kind of cute as it is. Obviously, I can see it in the frame here. Obviously, I probably need to, to secure it. I didn't think I was gonna, but this blue here is a little bit like it needs pushback. So I will do that. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. I don't know how many times I've mentioned this because I'm recording videos like here, there and everywhere. I do have a second channel. I finally made it. I did talk about that a while ago. I made it. Its name is Kaylee Ellen Unfiltered. The link is in the description. Please feel free to subscribe to that if you want to see anything that isn't plants. So just generally more stuff about me. You know, you're very welcome there. Anything goes. There's no upload schedule. It's all just a very, very chill. Um, likewise, don't subscribe if that's not, you know, what you're about. There's no obligation there at all. I won't take it personally. And, oh, I'm kind of excited for Friday's video. Uh, you will need a notepad and a pen, but it is not a red plant index. And that's all I'll say. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're all keeping well. Sorry for my rant. Oh, there's a little bit of Bailey's in here. I think I will have that. I'm sorry it was a little bit high energy, but things just piss you off sometimes, you know? And that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you on Friday. Bye, guys.